I'm Martha from Van Bow Flowers and Garden Center. Here's a helpful tip when you're designing your outdoor porch pot. I like to use floral foam on top of the soil. I tape it in with either my floral tape you can use DD tape, duct tape, electrical tape, hockey tape because it'll make all your greens and your sticks stay in so much firmer and it's so much easier to design. Make sure that you do water the floral foam before you insert any of your Christmas greens. And there you have it. When you're working with birch poles, put them in before you add all your Christmas greens. It'll be so much easier. These bundles of Ontario pine, fir, and cedar, it's the perfect amount to make one big outdoor porch pot or two small ones. Another tip for you is once you have all your greens in your outdoor pot, add some other textures and foliage, such as like magnolia leaves, seeded or silver dollar eucalyptus, BC cedar. Another favorite is the silver oregonia. This one is so wonderful because it stays green all through the winter, right through till March. It gives a lot of texture to your outdoor pot and you absolutely want to add that to it for sure. waterproof berries like this that have a very short stem. Attach a longer stick to it. You can use floral tape like I'm using here. You can use electrical tape, duct tape, hockey tape. And now you've got a nice long stem that you can insert your berries wherever you would like. If you have some baubles that you want to add to your outdoor pot, but they have the hanger on the bottom, just pull it off, take a stick, dip it into some hot glue or some glue that you have around the house, pop it in, wait till it dries, and now you have a bobble that has a stick on the end. Easy for adding it in. outdoor porch pot will make it look really pretty at night. We have these timer battery indoor outdoor wire lights like this. Also the colored ones that are new to us this year they're pretty awesome as well. Also on a timer and you can put the timer on and set it so that it goes on at a certain time each day and you just need to just kind of carefully weave this through and then hide the battery pack towards the back. A really easy way 
to get the pine and the evergreen sap off your fingers is to use a little bit of hand sanitizer. We've got lots of that around this year. And then wash your hands with soap and water and it'll come off pretty good. Make sure when you put your porch pot in your decorative outdoor container, you weigh that pot down with either sand or bricks or some other soil. You don't want to have your beautiful display rolling down the driveway on a windy day. When your porch pot is complete, place it outside and make sure you water it until the soil freezes. Once the soil is frozen, it'll be perfectly fine and it'll be great right through the whole winter months.